Okay, so you've got your nook apart. The fan doesn't spin. You've kind of given it a little of this. I don't know if you can tell how slow this is, but it doesn't move hardly at all. Um, let's clean it. There's, we can actually clean this and bring it back to life. Um, so right here, I've got some lubricating oil. I actually got this from like a hair cutting bag. Um, you can get some of this in uh, sewing kits. You can get it in the, honestly, you could probably use 5W20 if you didn't really care. Um, all of it'll work, whatever. Um, so I flipped this upside down and I kind of pushed downwards, not on the fins. I don't want to break anything, um, but on like the, let's use a screwdriver instead of my giant finger here. Um, you know, um, here-ish, you know, kind of near, it looks like a rubber ring, but it's not. It's the, it's the bottom side of the, it's the bottom side of the fins. If you can see a green like board, don't push on that. That's the wrong side. You need to push on the black, okay? Once you've pushed it down a little, then you can flip it onto this side and it should come up fairly easily by lifting on both sides at the same time. Again, don't put too much pressure on the fins, they'll break. Here's this disgusting fan. I mean, it's not terrible, but it doesn't spin, so basically it's terrible. Okay. We need inside this hole here, and we need to clean the outside of this guy, like the metal part, okay? You can see it's kind of dirty. I mean, it spins against that, so we kind of need that to be clean. The inside of this middle part is what's spinning against that, so we don't want that to be rubbing very hard at all. Um, but grease definitely on the spindle there, okay? might be easiest to just drip it down in there. Don't want to do too much. It'll damage the board that's underneath. If you want, you can probably just put it on that guy. Um, I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's clean. Oh, where's the paper towel? Let's see if I got paper towel. I'm just going to use a paper towel for the outside of this. Uh, you like that? That's some quality YouTube right there. Oh, go. Clean the edges of that. Clean kind of the inside of the black part of this. It wasn't all that dirty, to be honest. Um, okay, so here we go. We're looking in the hole. Looking in the hole. Oh, I got like tremors or something. Okay, all right. Got our one deal in there. One drop. That's all I put. That's it. There's a giant bubble on top, but you know, whatever. It's cool. Wow, um, it's a miracle, what the, that's amazing. Uh, not even 60 frames a second shows this. Fans are weird on cameras, you know what I'm saying? It is spinning nice and smooth and I love it. Okay, let's put it back together. You did it. Uh, this is, this is crazy, this wouldn't spin at all and now it's just like doing that bowing thing at the end, you know what I'm saying? That's good, that's good stuff. Okay, that's it. That's all it takes. These fans are friggin' $50 a piece. And it just keeps going up because no one makes it anymore. Thanks, Intel. Three years of support and then <clears throat> out of here. Up the wazoo. All right. You guys have a great day.